Hey everyone, it's Linnea and I'm back with another project using Simon Hurley Create products. So I am once again going to grab this bubble wrap stencil. This is my probably one of my favorite stencils across all the companies and all the stencils that I own. These circles are perfectly wonky and I just think that they are so cute and so fun for all kinds of backgrounds. So I've used it for cute fun backgrounds with the super mom stamp set and today I'm going to be pairing it and kind of making a more elegant but well I should say whimsy floral card. So I sprayed the back of it with pixie spray and I tacked that down onto some black cardstock. I'm using deco foil transfer gel blanco and stenciling that onto that bubble wrap stencil onto the black cardstock. Now usually when you use the transfer gel, you would use some foil or flock or something like that on top of the transfer gel once it's dry and transfer a fun um, medium on top. But I'm going to leave it just the white background and you'll see that in the end. This is the Doodle Florals stamp set. This is new from the Mother's Day release from Simon Hurley Create. And this stamp set is a large 6x8 stamp set. And all of these floral images have an outline and then layers. Super easy and super fun to use. So I'm going to start out with the outline images and then I'll layer my colored, my solid portions on top. You could do it the other way if you'd rather start with the solid colors and then do the outline. Either way is perfectly fine. I chose to start with the outline because the solid colored portions are separate so like the flower is separate from the leaves so you can stamp them in different colors and just so that I made sure I had enough space and the spacing correct I started with the outline. From here it is so easy to add the solid stamp portion on top. These florals are wonky just like the background and they line up really easily because it's just easy to look through. The, it's a clear stamp, so I just look through and line it up with the outline, and then I pick it up. I'm using my Misty, but you could definitely use just an acrylic block if that's how you prefer to stamp. I like to use the Misty because then I can stamp a whole bunch all at once. So I'm using a lot of the Simon Hurley Create dye inks to ink up and add color to these flowers. There are a lot of techniques that you could do. These um, layered florals just give one solid color to each of the images but you could if you wanted to use a sponge dauber and make the outside darker or the inside darker really the possibilities are endless with the stamp set and you don't even have to use it as a layering set you could just stamp the outline and then color it with watercolors or with copic markers really it's super fun and super versatile so I added a bunch of the leaves to the door of my Misty, and this is one of the reasons I used the Misty was I can stamp, I think I have like seven of the leaves on here, and I can stamp them all at once. I did stamp the leaves in three different colors. Here I'm doing Minty Fresh, and I stamped that three times just to build up the color a little bit, but that gave me a soft pastel color leaf. And now I'm going to use Overzealous, and this is going to give me a bright, happy spring green color for the leaves and then I also used later gator for a couple of them so I have three different colors of leaves. Once I'm all done I thought that I wanted to add a little bit more uh, depth, dimension, a little bit more decoration to these flowers. So I'm going in with a white gel pen. This is just a Uniball Signo Broad pen. Any white gel pen that you have will work and I'm just going to kind of add some little decorations and details to these flowers. So at the center, I added some dots. And then this flower image here has some like stripes on some of the petals. So I'm going to go every other stripe and just fill that in with the white. And then I'm just gonna keep on adding some little doodle elements to these doodle florals. I just thought that it was a super cute and super whimsy way to decorate these flowers, especially since I didn't do anything fun with the inking. So I'm just going ahead adding some dots and this definitely does show up better where I use the darker inks. So the flower on the left I used Crown Me and this white pen showed up really, really well. 
The one on, that I'm doing now on the right, that pink flower, I used piggyback and it's a really light pale pink. So my white flowers or my white elements didn't really show up as much. They did in the center. The centers really pop when I added those white details. This really didn't take very long, but check out how fun these doodle florals look with all those little white elements added. All I'm gonna do now is just take my fine detail scissors and I'll fussy cut these flowers out. It really didn't take me a long time. It probably only took me 10 or 15 minutes to cut all of them out. I'm actually faster at cutting than I am at coloring, so that's why I don't mind fussy cutting. Now, as you can see here, I have way more flowers than I need. I like to stamp or color and cut out a bunch of images more than I need. I will arrange them onto my card. And this is probably what takes me the longest is actually finding an arrangement that I like and I'll just kind of fuss around with it a lot. But then I'm gonna have a whole bunch of flowers and leaves and stems left over. And I'll keep those in the back of my stamp pocket with my stamp set so that the next time I pull it out, I already have some images already stamped and cut and ready to go to make a card. Once I have my flowers and everything arranged the way that I want it to go, I am going to use a trick from Jennifer McGuire, and this is something that I use on a lot of my cards, especially when I have a bunch of images in one place that I want to pick up all at once. So I'm just going to temporarily use some purple tape and tack down my card onto my glass mat just so that it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to use a long strip of purple tape and pick up all these images at once. And I'm using the grid mat to line up my tape so I have it in a straight line so that this way I can add some glue to the images that are going to be in the most in the background but when I flip my tape over they are on the front so I can add some liquid adhesive or even foam adhesive if you want to to the images that I are going to be all the way in the back flip that piece of tape over line it up with my grid mat and then I can just press those onto my panel and peel back the purple tape and so whatever I've adhered the or added the glue to will stay stuck down onto my card and the rest will remain adhered to the purple tape and so I can pull them up and just continually add little bits of glue and this is just a nice trick so that I keep everything in the exact order where I had already ha arranged it so I don't mess anything up by moving it around when I'm gluing it down. I stamped a sentiment onto a strip of white cardstock, and this is also from the Doodle Florals stamp set. And I'm going to use my T-square ruler to line that up and get that centered. I did pop that up onto some foam so that it would be off the background a little bit. And here you can check out that Blanco transfer gel. And like I said, usually you would add something else fun to it, but I decided to keep it this fun white background, and I love how it looks with that wonky bubble wrap stencil. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.